Currently, there are more than 14,000 jobs listed for SAP ABAP in India. More than 140 ABAP jobs are available for freshers with 0 to 2 years of experience. So there is a lot of demand for ABAP programmers. But what is ABAP and how to learn it without spending too much money? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. First, let's get a high level overview of ABAP. Then let's learn about the free ABAP tutorials and certifications that will boost your job opportunities. And finally, how to make use of some of the free SAP software to learn ABAP. Stick to the full video to get the most out of it. If you are new here, my name is Arun and I make videos about SAP topics. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Now let's get started. The first one is Introduction to ABAP. ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. It was introduced by SAP in 1983 to develop SAP applications. SAP's core applications like S4HANA, S4HANA Cloud, ECC, CRM, SRM, TM, EWM, PPM, and SEM are all written using the ABAP programming language. Apart from these on-premises applications, SAP also offers a few cloud products like SuccessFactors, Ariba, Conquer, FieldClass, BTP, SAP Analytics Cloud, etc., which are not written in ABAP. The reason being, a lot of these applications were acquired by SAP and they are cloud native, which means they are written using programming languages like Node.js, Java, Rust, etc. You need an SAP system to compile ABAP programs. That is one of the main reasons why the ABAP programming language is not widely used to develop software applications by companies that are apart from SAP and SAP customs. All ABAP programs reside inside the SAP database. They are not stored in separate external files like Java or C++ programs. In the database, all ABAP code exists in two forms. One is as a source code, which can be viewed and edited with the ABAP workbench tools. And the second one is as a generated code, which is a binary representation somewhat comparable with the Java bytecode. ABAP has come a long way since its inception in the 1980s. Here's a timeline highlighting the key milestones and developments in the evolution of ABAP. First one, 1980s to 1990s was considered as the traditional ABAP era. ABAP was initially designed as a procedural language for SAP R2 and later R3 systems. It primarily focused on data processing, business logic, and report generation with the SAP environment. In 2000s, SAP introduced object-oriented programming concepts to ABAP. This allowed developers to use classes, interfaces, and inheritance to build modular and reusable code, enhancing code organization and maintainability. Since 2000s, with the rise of SAP HANA as an in-memory database platform, SAP introduced ABAP for SAP HANA. This introduced new programming paradigms and optimized techniques for leveraging the capabilities of the in-memory database HANA, such as native SQL, open SQL, ABAP managed database procedures and core data services for efficient data processing. Then SAP introduced ABAP Cloud since it started focusing on enabling ABAP development in cloud environments with platforms like SAP Cloud Platform and SAP Business Technology Platform. This allows developers to build cloud native applications using ABAP. Also ABAP supports the development of microservices using SAP Cloud Platform ABAP environment, enabling developers to build scalable and flexible applications in cloud environments. Now it is more modernized with the help of technologies like SAP UI5 and Fiori, allowing developers to create responsive and intuitive user experiences. SAP is also enhancing ABAP's interoperability with non-SAP systems, allowing integrations with external services and technologies. So in a nutshell, the future for SAP ABAP looks great as it continues to innovate ABAP with a focus on cloud native development DevOps practices, and integration with emerging technologies like machine learning and blockchain. Now, how can you learn ABAP? There are plenty of YouTube videos available through which you can learn ABAP, and some of them are really good as well. Apart from these ones, you can learn ABAP via the SAP Learning website. For example, I go to the learning.sap.com and search for ABAP topics. There is this particular learning journey called Acquiring Core ABAP Skills which has got 40 hours worth of free content. This is a really good learning journey if you want to get some good insights into ABAP. Once you have completed this learning journey, you can take the exam to acquire the SAP Certified Associate, 
backend developer ABAP cloud certification. Getting this certification alone is not going to get you a job, but it will definitely give you some credibility that you have put the effort to learn and take the exam and have passed it. And then there is SAP community website. Now I go to community.sap.com and select topics and search for ABAP. Under the ABAP development topic, you will find lots of blogs, tutorials and topics through which you will be able to learn ABAP. You can also ask questions and get things clarified from ABAP experts around the world. I have provided the link to these websites in the description. Free SAP trial systems. As I mentioned before, in order to practice ABAP programming, you will require access to an SAP ABAP system. Let's see what are options available for you. The first and easy option is to use SAP BTP free tier. The free tier of the SAP BTP provides you access to an ABAP environment using which you can develop and run ABAP programs. This page contains links to documents on how to enable the free tier and how to access the functionality, etc. The second option is to install the Docker image of an SAP ABAP trial system. You will require a really powerful computer with at least 48 gigabytes of RAM or have access to cloud servers like Amazon AWS or Azure to run this Docker. I have made a detailed video with step-by-step -step instructions on how to install this SAP trial system on the Docker. Please find the link to that video in the description. The last option is to download the SAP developer system and install it on a VM or a local server or a local laptop. This option is similar to the second option, but in the second option, you just have to install the Docker and don't need to install the SAP system as the Docker image will contain the SAP system as pre-installed. But in the third option, you can download the SAP software image and install it on any server or computer you like. Installation and configuration guides are available and I have provided the link to this website in the description. I hope this video provided some insights into ABAP and how to learn it. Please share this video with your friends who might benefit as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in another video.